everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Micaela and today we're here to talk about 10 trends that were in this summer that are going to continue being nice and trendy during the autumn. So I've been in the hunt for a pair of jeans and some sweaters because it's been colder where I live uh, in the Italian Alps. So I've been trying to find more pieces that I can incorporate in my wardrobe and, you know, uh, make it more suitable for the lower temperatures that we go back to 15 16 degrees in the morning so that's already cold i kind of wear shorts so anyway i've been just looking around my favorite website which will be zara that also has a lot of trends but in a you know in a nice way in my opinion anyway so i decided to do uh 10 uh trends that we've seen throughout the whole summer with the pieces that we already might have in our wardrobe, either from other seasons or that we acquire in the summer and that we can keep using during the first days of autumn, so, you know, when it starts getting colder. So, uh, I'm gonna give you some examples of this and then I'm gonna show you the pieces that I have. So, let's get started. The first trend that I wanted to talk about is linen. Linen is a material that, of course, you associate to summer. But uh, nowadays there are many pieces that are like suits or like long trousers or even long slip shirts that you can incorporate into your autumn wardrobe in a transitional way. So uh, I wanted to show you these long trousers, this pair of black ones that are also are from Zara and these bottom up ones that are also from other seasons that I tend to wear a lot in the summer when I go to, let's say, I travel and um, to Israel last year, I will link it um, somewhere here because I made a video talking about it and one of my tips was that you should always wear long trousers when going to churches or like some places that you don't know if it's you know for you to allow to wear shorts or like long you know like short skirts, short dresses and you need to wear long stuff so linen is a good one because it keeps you warm if you want to and it also keeps you fresh so that will be one you can also see a lot of uh, suits and coats and I'm gonna here insert an example of it because uh, two pieces, even if one is linen, one is not or like incorporate like blazers, linen blazers and all of that it's gonna be very trendy and it's a good piece because it, you know, it's uh, good for both weathers the second one will be small bags we've seen throughout this whole year except, you know, for the very first part of the year <laughs> anyway, um, small bags and it's more and more trendy so uh, I do have one, just um, this one that you're seeing right now it's red and it also, um, you know, it's just for your main things that you cannot forget let's say your phone and your uh, cards or like, you know, notes for paying or whatever it is you're gonna not even put your keys in there but you know, maybe it's just one key and you put it inside one of the pockets Anyway, they are being trendy, you can also wear it like layering with other bags, I'm going to show you how to do that as well. And it's I've seen it all over and with like really, really cute pieces, so that's definitely one of the ones that we have to keep an eye on. The third one are chunky boots. In this case, chunky uh, and shoes are being trendy, like has been trendy for years now. Uh, we've seen in the summer more of like the chunky... You know, not sandals, but experimental shoes, I will call them. I'll insert some pictures here so that you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, we've seen that and we've also uh, seen a lot of boots anyway, even if it was the summer, with like shorts or like the Coachella style or like the Glastonbury festival in the UK type of vibes with boots that have always been trendy. We've seen this with like rather chunky boots, so I have these two pairs from Zara when I like really high that I bought uh, right. Um, right after the winter, yes, and I have a shorter version. I think that's a great thing to start incorporating now that we can allow to, you know, lick the sandals aside and start wearing something that's more for colder weathers. Um, I think that will give our, our look a way more cool vibe than just wearing sandals. So that's another one. Fourth one are blazers, any type of blazer. I've seen blazers everywhere, and I love them, and I have some sort of obsession. So I should, you know, I I should stay far away from the shops right now. Uh, but anyway, blazers are a cute one. There are colorful ones. There are just you know uh, pastel ones. There are neutral ones, black ones of course. I have 
a black one, I have, I got a new uh, white one, and I have beige, I have like puffy sleeves, and they are all trendy, from the ones that long sleeve, regular ones that you can wear for work, to the more puffy sleeves and like, you know, all the colors and incorporating different materials type of thing that are also in trend. So I'm gonna show you here some with a puffy sleeve and how to wear it because I had short sleeves so I'm gonna find something short sleeves as well. Suits with short sleeves or blazers with short sleeves are super trendy. Also, um, as we're gonna talk later on, neutral colors with black blazers are always a great idea. And I incorporated a white one because I've been seeing it all over magazines and Instagram and so on. My fifth trend will be sheer layers. Sheer layers are like, you know, crochet that you can see through the material, uh, actually materials that, you know, are made so that you can see through from like mesh or like lace or something like that. So I have some pieces from other years that I think we can incorporate to wear either with blazers on top or like with some of the high-waisted jeans that are still on trend, uh, the high-waisted shorts that we've been using. You can uh, put them with some of the bralettes or bras that are also attend, like a trend that you can see your underwear, your bras and, and all the structure of the corset, let's say. That's also super trendy, so that's a good one to keep in mind. Um, and I think it, it's, it's one that we can sort of incorporate in a sexy way and incorporate also to go to work with like something underneath like the blazer on top or anything like that that will cover a little bit more skin but you're still trendy wearing something cool my sixth trend is uh, polka dots I've seen polka dots everywhere I am not a huge fan of prints at all but polka dots is something that it's fun and cute to me so I do have a body from summer I also have a dress and I've seen polka dot dresses are in right now so I'm gonna link some of the ones that I loved down below and uh, this is the one that I have. I also have a polka dot uh, tights so that I can wear it together and I find it super cute. But you can also wear it um, just like that. You can wear it with black tights if it gets colder. You can incorporate the chunky boots because it's like a very feminine thing, the polka dots. And the chunky boots give it a masculine vibe or like a military vibe to break in uh, the too feminine or too cute with something like uh, a little bit masculine, which I love, and it's awesome. The seventh trend that I wanted to talk about are puffy sleeves. We've seen puffy sleeves the whole summer with everything, even even sometimes with bikinis or like bathing suits. We've seen puffy sleeves for uh, kids as well. We've seen them everywhere, all types of sleeves, also with like a shoulder pad and puffy here and puffy around the sleeve and everywhere and I think I started to like it. I mean, I was one of those that, oh, I'm not gonna wear this, I'm not gonna wear that, but then again, uh, once I started seeing it, I found this top from Zara that I'm seeing right now, and I definitely love it. It's not something, it's cute, but definitely if you can make it work, showing a little bit of skin, or like accentuating where it should be smaller, that's definitely a nice one to go for. So we've seen that um, in, uh, in shirts, in blouses, but I think we can incorporate that as well now with sweatshirts that are very trendy with like different shoulders and with puffy sleeves, mostly in the cuffs, but I also have sweaters with like puffy sleeves uh, here in the shoulder, puffy shoulders, and I think that's a great way to, you know, incorporate something less basic to a wardrobe uh, with, or basic with a little bit of a twist, let's say. The number eight is gold over silver. I used to be a silver person. If you will ask me, I mean, even you can see my watch. If you will ask me, I will go for silver. No questions asked. And nowadays, after seeing everything gold and gold and gold, I started incorporating a lot of um, nice pieces from the high street to um, my collection. So I have like gold earrings, I have belts, I have necklaces, and I think I've seen it. You know, also mixed silver and gold or rose gold with gold, yellow gold. Um, I'm starting to like it. You can see it everywhere. You can see almost all the belts and almost all the, um, the earrings and almost all the, you know, details in the pieces and the clothes and everything is done to be gold. So I think it's a good way of, uh, you know, incorporating something trendy that everybody has. My ninth trend that I wanted to mention today that I'm gonna be following 
Now it is transition time into autumn is the neutral palette. So we've seen a lot of pastel colors and of course the summer calls for a lot of color and vibrant you know, tones and all of that. But right now I'm seeing a very monochrome palette all over the internet. So it's of course white or a creamy white, black and a nude color, a beige color. So these three are definitely definitely trendy you see them everywhere and I think um, now with those bodysuits from Zara that people have started wearing the nudes um, you know that started also the trend those bodysuits or black bodysuits you can still wear them underneath again blazer cardigans and everything else I think it looks great and it makes you look polished it makes you look more expensive and it's a trend that's easy to keep up uh, if you like me like everything black or everything in neutrals uh, mostly, so that's definitely a good one to keep an eye on. My tenth one will be uh, lingerie tops. I'm not a huge fan of them, but I started incorporating a couple of pieces, also like bodysuits that look like a little bit of a, like a lingerie top, and I think they are a key piece, and they've been a key piece to wear under sweaters or cardigans, again blazers and everything, because you know, um, nowadays if you have to take it off because it's too warm, you still look elegant and uh, trendy. But if you're cold, you can also put something like the sheer layers that we were talking about, uh, the laces that we were talking about, cardigans, or literally anything that you can see through and still wear something cool underneath. So that was it. I hope you like it. Um, I'm gonna link everything that I mentioned down below and some of the pieces that follow the trends that I mentioned that I really like so that you guys can get inspired and you know uh, take a look at what I mean and I also hope you like uh, all the outfits that I've been showing to you and I will expect you to tell me what trend is your favorite which one I'm missing, which one I have to jump in uh, or which one do you think we all have in our wardrobe that I should start incorporating so uh, thanks for watching See you next week for our next video and let's see you talk to you in the comments. Thanks. Bye.